Hello everybody, welcome back to Cards by the Hill. My name is Jane Hill. So we're on card number four from the Stands Block Die Cut Block in Loving Memory by Studio Lights. So we've got the two pages we're using here. And this is the Sorry for Your Loss one. And they supply you with two pages for each card, but one is in German, which means that you might not be able to use the sentiments on that, that page. Okay, so we're using this sheet for the background got some musical notes on it some hearts and out of all the crap the craft card kits I've done so far this one I have to say has completely surprised me So that's going in the middle. The cards you can create with it are absolutely stunning. We're going to go for this next piece, which says sorry for your loss, with some flowers in the middle. We've also got some mesh in on some paper, a flower stem, sentiment, which has to go on the front, some buttons and pearls. And I think that's a little tie of ribbon. That's sweet. On the other sheet, we've got a rose, piece of fabric on a peg, some more buttons. We've even got a couple of sconces. Look at that. They've got to go on. And a heart sitting on a stone. I mean, it, there's such thought gone into it. It really is something else. Now, the sconces... Possibly at the top. We'll see where we go with it first before I glue them. Might put them inside. Just taking off the little nobbles. And that's going to sit in the middle. That actually says sorry for your loss on it. So we could use the sentiment inside. Or not at all. That's going in the middle. Layering up. I think we'll put the sconces on the inside. And we could put on now the heart in the stone. And maybe the flower. I'm not sure. Okay, that little ribbon is so sweet got to go on the corner somewhere so we'll add that on I'll put it up the top corner just going to turn the fan on so if you hear a noise it's the fan don't know what it is in the craft room the heating's never on but it's always hot in here okay then we'll put the little peg holding the cloth on the top left. I think I put too much glue on there. Let's just get rid of some. Just on there. And the thing is, you're layering it up, but it just doesn't look layered. It's absolutely stunning the way they've done these a little rose in the corner it just looks like it's one complete sheet but obviously it's not right i don't think we need anything else on there uh you know I like to use as many pieces as I can. Let's use 
the roses on that corner. The heart in the stone is really sweet. That's got to sit on a sconce. But they haven't, I can't say they've actually given you anything else to put on the sconce. So I'll use one on the front. And put it just around there and then add the heart in the stone to sit on top of it. Could have moved that down a little bit actually, but I'm not going to pull it off now in case it goes horribly wrong. It can just overlap the top there. That's fine. Okay, so that's about it for the front. Uh, I will add the other floral. And put that just across the front there I think so let's do that just sit it across there but you see what I mean when I say they don't look layered and just look like the same piece of paper it's extraordinary so that's enough on the front and we'll move to the inside. We've got this big piece with the mesh on the paper. So we can add that in to the centre there. And you can mix and match these pieces with other cards if you don't want to use their ideas got the two roses I'm going to put down the bottom there just overlapping I've got some tulips on a square piece it's going to go down in this left corner and then we've got another sorry for your loss, which I'm going to put in the centre there. And I think that's about it. So we're just left with some pearls. But again, as I said, absolutely stunning cards. Really nice neutral colours they've used. There was the odd one that had the pinky purpley on it. I don't know whether there's any more with colour. Let's have a look in. Oh yeah, we've got another one with pinky purpley, red. Pretty though, very pretty. It's it was a good choice of colour they've picked to add with the neutrals so it doesn't look out of place at all okay finally the two buttons and you know you can add your own sentiment inside you can add a verse if you don't feel you've got enough that's it that's card number four There we go. So we've got the heart in stone on the sconce, the little ribbon. We've layered this centerpiece, extra set of florals and a rose, little peg holding some cloth inside. Got some mesh on some paper, couple of buttons and the tulips in the corner. Absolutely beautiful. All right, so. As I do in all my videos, 
I want to thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't done so, please subscribe. It means so much to me. Keeps me going. Um, and when you're making a video a day, you like to see people watching it. So, just picking that bit of glue off my finger. Um, thank you for your continued support and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.